What would you do if you saw somebody selling a computer using your pictures? Well, of course you have to buy it. In today's video, we're gonna do just that to see if the person who's selling a computer using our pictures is actually gonna ship us a computer or just a box of bricks, or is it gonna be something more interesting than that? Well, in today's video, we're about to find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. It's Black Friday. In today's video sponsor, Micro Center has you covered. Micro Center has all the deals on everything you need to build your first gaming PC or or upgrade your current one and no matter the budget there are plenty of options for you to choose from at micro center especially during black friday for those who love 3D printing or looking to pick up a new hobby, they're also running a deal for new customers only on the Creality Ender 3 V2 for only $99. And also don't forget, the new Charlotte location will be opening at the end of 2024, giving you all another awesome Micro Center to shop at. Want to save a bit more money at Micro Center? Submit your PC build to the Build Showcase by checking the link down below and receive a $25 off coupon when approved. Check those links down below to learn more. And big thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into the video, shall we? So it's come to our attention that there's somebody on eBay selling one of our PC Bros computers for more than we sell it for. <laughs> and um, we, yeah, we don't know why. And we're, we're kind of curious about the situation and wondering if they're actually selling it through they bought from us or if it's a drop shipping kind of deal. Or if it's com just completely a scam. We don't really know. We have no clue because they only have three feedback. It is 100%, but it's from like over a year ago. So I have the theory that it's like a hacked account and then it's just like a bot that basically just, I don't know why us, why us? I don't know. But yeah, it's one of our budget systems which now we do sell for way cheaper than this. So it's gonna be funny to see if we order this, will they actually drop ship a computer from PC Bros to us after seeing the Toasty Bros order it, or will this just end up being what Jackson thinks in a scam? Well, if you don't, if you see this video now, it's most likely the other way, and it's gonna be something actually interesting, but we're gonna go ahead and order it. What well, if I made an offer? Make an <laughs> offer on it. We're gonna go ahead and buy it and just see what happens, because you know what? We tried to get it taken down the other day. Nothing happened. It could get taken down at some point, but before that happens, let's just buy it and see what happens. Which one are we uh, using? I'm on the Toasty Bros one, so okay. it'll say Toasty Bros. <laughs> so maybe they don't even know the connection of Toasty Bros PC Bros. Honestly, if they ship it here, it would be funnier. Let's just have it shipped here. Let's see what I mean, happens. In the worst case, they cancel the order if they think it's like fake and then we just order it with a different account. Yeah, we order with a private. Confirm and buy. It's coming here <laughs> one way or another, ladies here and gentlemen. Comes. Three weeks later. All right, you will not believe what actually showed up. What showed up? This <laughs> is the computer we bought on eBay from a seller that we thought was impersonating us and they actually shipped a computer. We think. It we could think. just be bricks. We haven't opened it yet. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and open it up, but this has been about three weeks now. Yeah, I actually look back at the day. It's been a long time. Uh, the seller looked incredibly sketchy. I think you predicted nothing was going to show yeah, up. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a drop shipping situation where they bought something for PC Bros and sent it to us, which that did not happen. We did not see any of these systems actually drop ship, but we did get a box, and we're going to open up and find out what we actually got. I know that the listing that they like linked was kind of weird. It like didn't look like one we had right now. Yeah, it was a GT. T730 system, an Optiflex computer, but this packaging is actually <laughs> pretty, primo. pretty primo. Now, I did get a message from the seller saying that they had their mom ship this out because they were off at college, um, which made me think this Why was even this? more real. So I'm assuming FedEx boxed this up for Why them. This is power cable. So, oh wait, this is two cables. This is the longest <laughs> power cable. So they gave us an HDMI and a power cable. So shout out FedEx, I guess. Yeah, they're probably the ones who did all this packaging on it. They probably paid them to do this, but yeah. we paid $300 for this computer and the specs were not amazing. We just thought we weren't gonna get a computer, but believe it or not, we got a computer. Yeah, we never would have spent this much, like nearly this much on a PC with these specs. Um, just because, you know, we don't even sell them for that much. <laughs> not anymore, especially um, because if, this is one that they bought a long time ago from us and they're just reselling it, which, oh my, what happened to it? <laughs> what happened to the power supply? Oh, oh. the power supply is denty. Oh, it's denty. Dang, this smells a little strange. It looks like everything's here in one piece, like the faceplate surprisingly is not broken or anything. So good job, FedEx. We're proud of you. Good job, FedEx. Okay, so let's see. So this is an Optiplex 990, uh -huh. which I think would be third or fourth gen. Were we selling them at third or fourth gen back then? If I this was, I don't know. But what graphics card is that? Not a 10. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, no, it's a GT 1030. It is a 1030, okay. But they listed it as a 730. So Goobers. they probably don't even remember what this was. This 
feels like a, we gotta do some more research, but this feels like a situation where they definitely sent us a computer that they bought from us, um, but listed it in the most sketchy way possible. I honestly think that they just couldn't find their receipt, so they just went to our website. And I almost think that maybe they listed this a while ago because the listing's not current anymore. We don't have any systems that have hard drives. And this one was listed as a 730 system with a 500 gig hard drive, but they all have SSDs now. So I'm assuming maybe they made this listing like forever ago and forgot about it, you know? The hard, what's the hard drive look like? Oh, it's a green <laughs> power hard drive? Oh, that's gonna be slow. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Yeah. yeah, when we first started PC Bros, we were selling these hard drive systems because that was before SSDs got really, really cheap. So these really cheap budget computers, obviously, we had to keep the hard drives in them. Uh, but nowadays, we're pretty much all SSD for the most part. So I know this eBay seller didn't have like a name or anything, but let's see if we can look up this person's name and maybe find their order. Uh, we wanted to look into our Shopify system, which is how we sell PCs at PC Bros, and see if there was an order, and we did find an order. Yeah, so it's actually from January 18th of 2021. Now, give you guys an idea. We started PC Bros in November, like mid-November. So that means this person is ordered 312 and that's not all PCs. So this is probably one of the first 100 PCs that uh, we ever shipped out. And if you didn't know, we had a mixture of like really cheap office PCs all the way up to like mid-range PCs. And also this was during COVID. So of course, <laughs> prices were not great. Yeah, they weren't great, but it's funny because he sold this to us for $300 and paid $315, which they did pay for the GT 1030 upgrade. And it mm -hmm. does come with eight gigs of RAM and a five or a gigabyte hard drive and a Wi-Fi adapter, which I think we got, yeah, right? Yeah, the Comfast is actually in there. <laughs> we got our Comfast Wi-Fi adapter, but that's funny. A OG customer actually was selling it online. It was just really weird how they did it because they had that picture on there with like, just copy paste specs from the order, which I'm assuming they got it from the order then if they copy pasted it. They, you know what? Because it's like upgraded, yes. maybe they just didn't do the upgrade version. They had it as like the base model, but yeah, it's weird that they didn't put in the eBay description, like I bought this from PC Bros or like anything. It was like literally just a copy paste of like our whole listing, which made it look like a scam. Well, you know what? This person got their money back. They only spent $15 to use this computer for three years. Which, which actually the 15 was the Wi-Fi adapter. Was the Wi-Fi adapter. They back. So so really, it's like they basically just, uh, you know, good, good return on an investment. But we're gonna go ahead and do, of course, since we got this computer, we gotta see what it can do. We'll try to load some games up on it and just see um, if it's held up over the years. It's a three-year-old computer, but it was already like how many years old by the time we sold it? I mean, Optiplexes like are- like eight years old, which we actually, yeah. um, I, I think the listing has gameplay on it. So we can actually see if like the benchmarks were a lot different. Um, you know, like two or three years ago when we originally did yeah, this. Yeah, we even got Valorant right here. So yeah, Valorant high, high settings. settings. This was a 1030. This thing was $400 at one point. No, I wonder. For, Fortnite's a game where it's like, who knows how that thing is. No goes. idea. We are in OG Fortnite. This was OG Fortnite before new OG Fortnite, which is actually <laughs> pretty funny. So yeah. yeah, we'll try to load some games up on it. It's gonna take forever with that hard drive, but we will get there and just see what it can do in 2023. All right guys, so quick update. The computer does work. It did boot on and everything, but the seller, of course, as I mentioned, did not wipe the drive and still has a login for an account that we do not know the password to. So just in sake of privacy and also the fact I really rather not use this hard drive in 2023, I swapped it out for an SSD, went back to PC Bros and grabbed ourselves a team group drive, which I've not seen this team group drive before. This is the QX extra large solid state drive. It's just a 512 gig SSD, two and a half inch. So we threw that one in there, replaced the hard drive so we don't have to use this thing. And this should make the system much faster. So we're gonna go ahead and install Windows 10 again, get everything up and running and then play some games on and just see what this GT1030 and I believe i5 combo, we haven't really verified if it's a second or third gen i5. We'll see what he can do in some games and then go from there. All right, guys, we're playing Overwatch 2. We're currently on 1080p, basically low settings because that's, uh, that's all this <laughs> thing was really destined for, you know? Yeah, low settings, esports titles, and realistically, this is kind of the end of the story of this PC, but we just wanted to show you guys what it can do. And we did um, add an SSD to replace that hard drive because even three years ago, when we first started our business, we really wanted to go all SSDs with stuff, but SSDs weren't as cheap as they are now. Nowadays, there's really no excuse to be using a hard drive in a system, so we obviously had to upgrade that thing. And um, if we to say we overpaid for this computer, if we're talking about like our return on investment, <laughs> would be an understatement. But the fact that this existed on eBay and the bait worked for us. Don't try to do this at home because we're probably not going to do it again. But I don't think it ever would have sold. Yeah, honestly, I if think we it would. Bought it. <laughs> I think it would have sat there forever. So we did that guy a favor. So if you're a uh, PC Bros customer, again, you should be because we <laughs> bought your computer back basically for what you paid. <laughs> Yeah, 1030 and uh, what is a second gen i5 
kind of what we expected. It's at least somewhat playable. I mean, if you had an Optiplex with a thing with an i5, you throw a 1030 in it, you get close to 60 FPS. You are going to have those dips where anything gets kind of crazy, but I, I give credit to Overwatch 2 for being able to even run on anything. this. Which I guess we could still lower settings technically. We could go lower res. We could change that. Uh, this game does have the classic render resolution, mm -hmm. which is like what Fortnite has, where you can basically be playing in like a native 1080p, but then you can uh, lower the actual, well, how, how do you describe that? You, know? so you would lower the actual That's texture graphic. resolution, but keep the actual canvas resolution of 1080p. <laughs> and you just get ulted on. Smile. Oh, so old to me. Yeah, so basically yeah. all the textures and everything would load in at like 720p, but then you're still at native 1080p, so downscale. <laughs> Oh! A wind ton? Wind ton. Wind ton! Wind ton. I was trying to kick it away from the material. <clears throat> punch Winton. <laughs> oh god, w Winton punch back, <laughs> Winton punch back. I can't decide what I want to do. Do I want to heal or do I want to suck? Like DPS or healer? I must kill this McCree. Yeah. Can I get their other medic? Yeah. Worth. They're single handedly carrying the team. Now. <laughs> oh, hello. Guys. Yeah, one minute to hold. There's a chance. <clears throat> oh my god, they have multiple ults going right now too. I'm not. Why am I healing them? What am I doing? They can't hit me though. <laughs> they can't hit me though. Oh no. Hello. Oh my god. Oh. No. Ah. Uh, well, I wouldn't get to make it. It was close. close, but it was close. Herbie no was cigar. correct. Herbie knew that we weren't gonna win. Let's play another game. All right, gamers, we are in good old OG Fortnite on performance settings. I did lock the frame rate to 144 because anything beyond that is just gonna be stressing the CPU for no reason whatsoever. Medium view distance, medium textures, and we're getting about, uh, yeah, we'll just wait till we land before I make any <laughs> assumptions here. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna imagine we're gonna get like 80 FPS on average with some stutters here and there, which I, I give Fortnite credit. Their performance mode has definitely stepped it up. The game looks absolutely awful compared to what it normally looks like, especially on DX11 and 12, but it's at least playable. Huh? I feel like it almost looks better than it used to, in performance mode. You know, with performance mode running like this, it makes me think, guys. All you Fortniteers out there, would you like to see the cheapest possible Fortnite PC? That would be a video. 2023. 2023. Maybe even 2024 at this point. Yeah, that would be a 2024 concept. All right, so we're gonna get our big pot here, but yeah, I got like 100 FPS. I definitely wouldn't remove that frame rate limiter because it's just gonna cause way more stutter with this really old i5, which is, how old is this i5 at this point? 20? I think 2012. Yeah, so, so we're- over 10 years old. Yeah, over 10 years old for a CPU. Which is mad impressive though, that these things actually like, <laughs> God. Ah, hello. Oh, he's still coming in. What part of town did he come from? Oh. Oh, hey. They did not hit yeah. a single shot. What happened there? 9,000 hippos. That, that's, a, that's a valid name. Your golf cart said bye. See, I'm just a bush in the sand. I'm just a bush in a golf cart. Ah, hello, thy enemy. Uh-oh. You wasn't very good at building. Shot my bush off. Ugh. Ah. Nice. Wow. Oh. Oh, there you are. He's hiding. Don't hide down there, Anonymous. I mean, you must. Wow, what, what a wall. What a wall. What a wall. <laughs> All right, Heat Man, you're done. But yeah, Fortnite, I mean, it's playable. Performance settings, cool to see that this PC can do it, but it's just cool to see we actually got a computer from the early days of PC Bros. Did we ever pay for it? Most certainly, but it was still a fun experience to see this get shipped here. And I'm wondering if the seller even realized who they sold it to, because um, they said absolutely nothing about it. They even sent a message saying, hey, Toasty Bros, here's your thing. <laughs> even though our eBay name is Toasty Bros. So I don't know, but still interesting story. Let's wrap this video up real quick. 
All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this PC that we actually already benchmarked technically like three years ago, which is kind of weird to think about. And performance obviously hasn't changed much. We have pretty much actually stopped using second gen. At this point, we mostly buy fourth to sixth gen systems because second gen, they're getting pretty outdated. I mean, 10 years old at this point or older. Um, and the 1030 still holds up fairly well, but overall, the system that we paid for, which was $315, is definitely a no-go for most people. I think this thing was already sitting for a while based on how old the pictures and stuff looked, but I'm glad that we got to come back around and get it again. Yeah, it was kind of funny to see this pop up on our eBay and just be like, hey, you know what? What is going on with that listing? The listing was just very, well, vague, and we just decided to purchase it and see what happened, and look at this. We got a little trip down memory lane. So if you want to buy a PC from PC Bros, because you can't really buy this anymore, check the links down below. You can see some of our better options that you can get in stock, all with SSDs, because forget hard drives nowadays, and use code ToastBros2 to save 2% on your next purchase. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So once again, this PC will be available at PCBros.tech, and you still can get really cheap PCs like this one that start a little over $100, or you can spend $5,000 if you want to. We can take all your money. <laughs> We're going to rob you. <laughs> <laughs> PCBros.tech. We're not really going to rob you. We'll give you guys some great deals. See you guys later. Goodbye.